I am proud. I'm a proud art teacher and I'm a proud mother. Recently, I had a portrait party going on during all the months of September and we had a lot of people that were just learning portraits and I knew it would be a good course, maybe my favorite course. Well, not maybe, this is my favorite course. And when I see the results of everyone, I am so proud of what my students are doing. But I don't know where they are coming from because I don't know them personally. And my daughter is home for a while and she is 24. She has never drawn or painted before. And as she has some time available, she decided to follow along the portrait party, doing a lesson each day. So I know where she's coming from. Nowhere. Sorry, darling. And I am so proud of what she achieved with my course portrait party. And I'm going to show you that because if you have never drawn a portrait and you feel that maybe it's impossible, I want to prove you wrong. Of course, I could show you my sketchbook and I did in another video that I link in the description, but I want to show you hers. And to add more difficulty, I am working on portrait and she decided to go on landscape. So she had to adapt and adjust. But the course is built so you are beginning from the very basics like doodles and then you build on the things you have learned. So first day, very funny. Second day, we are going more in details and now she's saying, oh my gosh, so it doesn't take much to have something looking like a face. Then some doodles with a pen and it requires to be brave to draw directly with ink and without any sketch under. Then let's have fun with different colors because a face is not only pink, it can be any color you like. And then it's time to go wild, go bigger and draw something that comes from the three previous days. And you have something that is beginning to look like your style. Even if this is following the same tutorial, we have a bunch of different results. Then some technique to learn how to draw faces. Some cute girl. Gouache. It was the first time she was learning gouache. So I said, all right, you just have to follow along my membership and you have a gouache boot camp. And so she did begin another sketchbook with the gouache boot camp and she loved it. So she chose to paint some different landscapes of her own. Yeah, love that. Then let's go for drawing and now she's discovering that, yeah, paper can be too thin and she understands why I have so many sketchbooks available. So I am always ready to paint when I am ready to. Some fun. Yeah, I know it's a bit messy, but I love it because she had fun and this is the most important. Some background colored background and drawing on top of it. Not the page she prefers, I guess. Yeah, some fun with uh, upside down, continuous line. I love the wonky style of those one. So she did more on her own. A page with haircuts and another technique to draw a face, some practice with colored pencils. Ooh, a background. So she likes pink, you can tell, obviously. Another page with stickers. And now she was confident enough to draw some stuff by herself, not from the tutorials. And this is a drag race we had in France. Now the scary part is drawing with brush pens. And she did really well. Look at this one. We are beginning here. Some crayons with big shapes, gouache with big shapes, and no prior sketch. So you learn a lot about the planes of the face. Journal style. Oh, some mess. Sorry. 
and the final one which is gouache and ink and a lot of stuff and so she kept going on her own and this is the most successful thing it's not just to replicate a tutorial that I did is to be able to make your own drawings so she is feeling confident very important and so confident that now she is doing Inktober without my help look at that she's doing great impressive Ooh, I have to hide that this one requires a bit more work I guess so I'm proud of her and I'm proud of each and every one of you who followed the first edition of Portrait Party. So I am opening a second edition. You have the link in description. It's opening on November 1st. And if you watch this after, you can join the waitlist for the third edition or the fourth or the fifth. Who knows? This is so rewarding as a teacher to see how much your students improve during the course. And they use their new skills to make their own art. This is what could be better for a teacher. So see you there.